drug schedules for controlled substances. It basically ranks from high, number one, to low, number five, in abuse levels. So basically, number one, high, it's up high because you always want to be number one, and low is five, down low. You're not number one, you're not even number two, you didn't make it, you didn't even place, you're down there at number five. So from high to low, get the drug level. So number one, level one is high abuse. There's really a uh, big level for abusing this medication. There's no actual medicinal use for it, and it's not even safe at all. Number one, level one, category one drugs. These would include LSD, acid, MDMA, ecstasy, heroin, marijuana, weed, and methaquinolone. Never heard of that. This is what I would call street drugs. The uh, high abuse, and you don't need to really use them. Uh, number two is high abuse. There is, though, however, in medical use. And the reason why their level two is pretty high is there's a high risk for dependency. These would be like opium. You can actually use it for certain things, but it's very addictive. Morphine, coca, cocaine, crystal meth, meth methamphetamines, and methadone. These are all high abuse drugs. There is a medical use for them, but there's a high risk of dependency. These are basically dangerous drugs that are only used for 911 emergencies, like emergency. There's no other way that we have to use these drugs. And they're level two. Now, um, level three are basically lower abuse. There's still some abuse that can happen with you, but they're lower abuse. And they have high medicinal use. So there's a good, you know, it's very useful to have these around. And there's, there's a lower risk for dependency. There's still dependency risk, but it's lower. And these are things as uh, amphetamines, barbiturates, which make you drowsy, Valium, which gets you, you know, sedated, Xanax, that keeps you calm, steroids, that gets you buff or whatever, codeine, which kind of tranquilizes you and gets you, like, super numb and relaxed. So these are what I call the tranks. Tranquilizers, things that make you tranquil, lower abuse, high medical use, and lower dependency risk. Now, four, these are low, low, low abuse rates, high, high, high medical use. So they're very medical, you know, used a lot for medicine. Uh, low abuse rate, although you can still use them, and there's low risk for dependency, which are phenobarbitals. That's why you see them a lot of, like, household things. Peraldehyde, you know, kind of sounds like formaldehyde for, like, deceased people. And these are kind of like strong cleanser type of drugs that you would find. And these are, you know, level four drugs. And um, the lowest of the low are the minor problems. Number five, level five, minor problems. They're usually basically level four drugs, but given in small, small, small amounts. So they're over-the-counter and prescription drugs, which are level five minor problem drugs. These are the drug schedules for controlled substances.